Oh wow, look at this. This next video. This is a shocking story. Okay. It, like, it's not shocking enough that I'm watching this by sheer will. I had been friends with Maria for many years during high school. Well, at least this video has better animation than the other one. She was almost like a sister. Hold up one more second. Hopefully that'll be the last pause of this video. ...to me. We helped each other get over heartbreaks and defended each other against mean classmates. But Maria had problems at home. She and her parents didn't get along, and on her 18th birthday, they kicked her out. That's why she- DANG! Okay, wow, that's really shocking, actually. She asked me if she could move into my home for a few days. She was my best friend, so of course, I said yes. And for the next few weeks, my dad paid for all her meals and other expenses. You see, my parents- <sighs> Another basic white man design. Basic white man. Number one. This is the very first one! <laughs> had divorced several years earlier, after my dad had received a big promotion at work. Suddenly, he was making three times as much money as before, and it changed him. He started showing off by buying a nice new car, and unfortunately, he also got himself a side chick. When my mom- That's a hoe. That's not a side chick, that's a hoe. Found out about her, she immediately broke up with my dad. To this day, I haven't forgiven my dad for betraying my mom. <laughs> But since then, he also became an even bigger jerk. So what happened next- Well duh, if you get rich, you're obviously gonna become a jerk. Next shouldn't have surprised me. I was gone for the weekend to attend a soccer tournament. And when I came back, my best friend Maria had a big smile on her face and said she needed to talk to me ASAP. She said, you won't believe what happened last night. Your dad and I watched a movie together and then we had a few drinks and got to know each other. How old are you? Oh, you're 18. Wait, so this is legal. This is legal! And that's when it happened. I said, when what happened? And Maria said, well, we made out a bit and then we went a bit further. But I spare you the details. I mean... If this was my friend, I would say, please get out my house. He is your dad. Okay, that wasn't just gross. It was dangerous. Because I knew... <laughs> Is that confetti in the background? Is that confetti in the background? Yay, your best friend just made out with your dad! <laughs> ...that Maria had exploited her ex-boyfriends in the past. One oh, time... so she's a bad person. Ain't hey, that just a surprise. She asked one of them to give her a thousand dollars so she could go to the dentist to have her tooth pulled out. Her poor boy... A thousand dollars? A thousand. How how old was your boyfriend? Like, I don't know if it's just a regular old kid has a thousand dollars in his account. Boyfriend only had five hundred dollars in savings, so he sold his computer to give Maria the thousand dollars. But Maria never had a toothache and broke up with the guy the next week without gold digger. Gold digger. Without giving him his money back. And I have many other stories where she cheated. Oh my God, look at her. Her neck's made of jello. ...on her boyfriends. So, of course, I didn't want her to date my dad, especially because she knew he had a lot of money. I mean, Maria was clearly a gold digger. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? And after her parents had kicked her out, she was probably on the lookout for financial security. And my dad was oh, her God, target. Go well, the next weekend, they officially announced to me that again. they were dating. And to celebrate their relationship, they drove in my dad's sports car from Los Angeles to Las okay, Vegas good. to spend the weekend there. When Maria came back, she told me about all the things she had done with my dad, including losing $20,000 at a casino and renting a hotel suite for $2,500 per night. She ended her story with, I didn't know your dad had that much money. Oh my god. I didn't know that your dad was rich. So, of course, I wasted it on it. She was such a gold digger. And that's why I went to my dad and told him how Maria only liked him for his money. But my dad responded, 
Oh, sweetie, don't worry. Daddy got this. Yeah? No, you don't. It's clearly, it's clearly obvious that you don't. Sure. I kind of felt betrayed by Maria. I had brought her into my home for shelter, and now she was taking advantage of my idiotic dad to make the- <laughs> You just basically roasted your dad there. My idiotic dad. Things worse, since they were officially dating, she acted like she had more rights than me. She even used my dad's sports car to drive around shopping. Was that Jigglypuff? They, they used Jigglypuff. Used my dad's Look, sports car to drive they around. They used Jigglypuff. So you got all these off brands. Forever 22, I don't know what that is. You're clearly in New York. Yet, it's perfectly fine to use Jigglypuff. Shopping. Of course, I was never allowed to drive that car. But Are you saying that. Do they live in Pokemon Mall? They probably do. These these might be Nintendo characters. Now it was too late to kick her out. I knew my dad wouldn't allow it. But I still had hope. Because my dad is as much as <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! Oh my god of a jerk as Maria, so it was only oh, a matter here we go again. until my dad would start mistreating her. But for the next few weeks, they continued dating and Maria was enjoying her new rich life. Oh, God. One day she came up to me all excited and said, guess what? Guess what? Your dad just had another promotion at work and now he's the chief financial officer at his company, which means his salary doubled. Oh, gosh. How could my dad okay. like this? She, she has veins growing from her face. This girl. She was so shallow and only cared about his money. It shouldn't have been a surprise to anyone when Maria accidentally got pregnant two weeks later. My dad completely freaked out and screamed. <gasps> no, no, no. That can't be true. He was devastated because he knew he would have to pay child support for the next 18 years. I gotta be honest, my dad got what he deserved, but Maria deserved none of it. I had offered her help, and in exchange, she took advantage of my family and took our money. She's a, she's a damn demon. And after Maria got pregnant, she completely stopped seeing my 51-year-old dad. He was suddenly too old for her taste. That's why she somehow moved back in with her parents, and after the baby was born, she and my dad negotiated how much child support he had to pay. Of course, I was curious and asked my dad on what figure they had agreed on, but he refused to tell me, so I had to ask Maria over text. She immediately wrote back $14,000 nope. and asked my dad nope. on what No, 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 $14,000 for child support? I don't think so. So I had to ask Maria over text. She immediately wrote back $14,000 per month. What? That was more than twice the U.S. average salary. And all she had to do is take care of a baby? I was so mad at her. But it got worse. Apparently, Maria wasn't satisfied with the money she received. She tried to blackmail my dad. She said she would neglect the child unless he'd pay her $25,000 per month. But this time, my dad handled it right. He talked to Maria in a room and begged her not to extort him. But she said very clearly that my dad either gave her the money or the baby would suffer. But of course, my dad was filming the conversation with a hidden camera. I was just about to say, your dad's a, your dad's a simp. So it was easy for him to sue Maria afterward. And trust me, she got her justice. Not only did she go to prison for one month, but she also lost custody of her child. Which means my dad doesn't have to pay her child support anymore. Instead, my dad decided to pay me $10,000 a month to raise my half-sister because he is too busy working. But I'm also busy going to college. So I hired a maid, and now I'm paying her $3,000 per month to take care of my- Now I want to be a maid! Half-sister during the day so I can get a college degree. And in the evening, I take over. I gotta admit, I really love my cute stepsister, even though she has horrible parents. Bonus story. Hey, we got bonus story. I'm Peter, and I recently changed schools because my dad found a job in a different city. 
I suffer from social anxiety, so the idea of making new friends petrified me. But it got worse. My new school based 50% of their grades on oral participation. Before, I had always been an honor student with top grades all my life because I wanted to go to an elite university someday. But there was no way I'd be able to talk in front of my class. And because I didn't want to become one of the bad students, I came up with a plan. On my first day at my new school, I took in a letter which read, I'm Peter. I have mutism and several problems with my hearing. I gave it to the teacher, and after he read it, he asked, Can you hear me? Of course, I could hear him perfectly, but I acted like I didn't understand him. That's why I leaned forward so that my ear was almost touching his mouth, and when he asked again if I could hear, I nodded. Then, he gestured to me to sit down right at the front. I was so nervous, my heart was almost jumping out of my chest. But it was worth it. Everyone believed I was mute and deaf. After that, my teachers only gave me written assignments, and I didn't have to do any PowerPoint presentations or answer questions in front of my class. Big brain move right here. But there was one problem left. My gym teacher, Mr. Gary. I could tell he didn't Mr. Gary. believe I was deaf or mute, but of course he still had to treat me respectfully, or otherwise someone could have accused him of Mr. Your mother Is this video too long? Yeah, it's way too long. Thanks for watching and all that crap. Uh, subscribe. <laughs>